Hey guys, it's Leah B from Prestige Veteran Medical Consulting. I'm a U.S. Army veteran, physician assistant, and former CMP examiner. Today, I want to come on and discuss hemorrhoids and how they can be related to IBS or constipation and VA disability. So a lot of people probably don't even realize that you can be service-connected for hemorrhoids, and it may be a, a delicate and um, embarrassing conversation for some people to um you know, approach with their healthcare provider or with the VA for from a compensation standpoint, but it's important to get this information out there because it is a thing that um, more than one in 20 people in the United States suffer from symptomatic hemorrhoids and veterans are a big population um, that can also suffer from them. So let's talk about, you know, what they are, how they can be service connected and um, just dig into some of those details. Okay. So the Cleveland Clinic de um, defines uh, hemorrhoids as um, swollen and large veins that form inside and outside of your anus and rectum. They can be painful and uncomfortable and cause rectal bleeding. Um, you know that, again, one in 20 Americans have symptomatic hemorrhoids. Um, some of the risk factors can be obesity, pregnancy, um, low fiber diet, chronic constipation or diarrhea, which we're going to talk about. Um, regularly lifting heavy objects, which can cause that increased um, intra-abdominal pressure, um, spending lots of time sitting on the toilet and straining while having bowel movements, okay? So we can have external and internal hemorrhoids. Um, you can have a combination of both. Um, they can be painful and they can be not painful. Um, they can create other complications, okay? So let's talk about how they can be related to service. So from a primary standpoint or a direct standpoint, if a veteran is diagnosed with hemorrhoids on active duty and they continue to suffer from them post-service, um, that may be pretty straightforward, not always, but that's, um, you know, can be something that can be service connected on a direct basis. So again, I always throw it out here that I'm not a legal professional. I'm not an accredited claims agent or an attorney or a VSO. I am a medical professional. I work with many um, accredited claims agents, attorneys, and VSOs and their clients or just veterans in general that um, are seeking medical opinions to accompany their um, VA disability claim. Those are not always required. Well, they're never required, right? They can sometimes be helpful. You can also get them for a little to no cost from your treating provider. So hopefully this um, conversation we're having will um, shine a light on some of these things. And, and if you're suffering from them, you may consider um, you know, seeking service connection if you believe it's related to your service and may also give you some information on how to approach your healthcare provider about it, um, it. You know, if you decide you would like to ask them for a medical opinion as well. So from a secondary standpoint, um, if you have a medical condition that um, has caused hemorrhoids, right, or has worsened your hemorrhoids, that can be also service connected depending on the specifics, right? So today we're going to talk about IBS, right, and constipation um, and how that can be related, right? So many veterans are service connected for IBS related to either Gulf War exposures, they may have been diagnosed in service with IBS, um, or related to another medical condition like PTSD or depression. I see that quite often. So if you're service connected for IBS or co chronic constipation, and you have developed hemorrhoids because hemorrhoids can be a natural um, complication from having constipation, as, as we've mentioned. Um, there is some literature that I'd like to share with you that may be helpful um, to, to your pursuit of that, right? So there was a study um, titled, it was actually just titled Hemorrhoids, published in May of 2007. Um, and it, it really just discusses what hemorrhoids are, um, that they can be caused by dietary changes. The majority of individuals with symptomatic hem hemorrhoids improve with dietary and bowel changes. Um, diet changes are important to note because it, it is a characteristic of joining the military. So from on, on a direct standpoint, if you've had significant dietary changes that can contribute, I, I would say that may be hard or a stretch to say, hey, I just ate MREs and it caused me to um, develop hemorrhoids 20 years later, but if you develop chronic constipation in service because of dietary changes and that's well documented, you know, you may be able to show that the constipation and subsequent hemorrhoids are related, right? Um, so let's see, I've got another article, um, Association of Hemorrhoidal Disease and Di Diarrhea Di Disorders um, shows that 8.8 .8 million patients um, 
it, it studied and evaluated that many records and found a significant association between hemorrhoids and a number of diarrheal disorders, including IBS. Um, let's see. I've got one more here. Um, external hemorrhoids published in Stat Pearls stated that pathologic hemorrhoids are a result of increased pressure gradient within the hemorrhoid plexus. This typically results from increased intra-abdominal pressure experienced by scenarios such as prolonged straining during defecation, right? So constipation, um, pregnancy, things like that. Um, a history of chronic hard stool can precipitate hemorrhoidal disease, right? So hopefully some of those articles will be helpful to you. Real quick, let's go over the ratings. Um, these are always subject to change, so it's important for you to follow up with a legal professional to clarify um, what the current ratings are. Um, but 0% if you have mild to moderate hemorrhoids, 10% if you have lar large thrombotic, irreducible, um, excessive redundant tissue, um, frequent reoccurrences, 20% if you've got persistent bleeding with secondary anemia or with fissures, right? So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you guys have some questions. Just remember that there's a number of things that you, you may be suffering from that you don't even realize can be service connected and, and there may be a relationship to your service. So I hope th these videos are helping shed some light on some of those things. Um, please drop some comments if you guys have some questions and thanks for watching.